everyone. Before we start, maybe you've heard the term sharing is caring. What are the things that you can share with others? Those are all very good answers. Now let's see what our Bible story for today is. Let's go! A bright and beautiful morning to you and your parents, kids. Can you believe it? It's the last Sunday before we head on to the Vermonts. How time flies. Before we start today's lesson, let us first think. Are you familiar with Bible stories that teach us about giving? Which one is your favorite? Today's stories can be added to your list of Bible stories about giving. But before we begin, let us close our eyes, bow down our heads, and pray. Dear Lord, remind us that you look at our hearts and our intentions more than the amount we give to you and to others. Amen. Now that we are ready, let's open our Bibles to Mark chapter 12, verses 41 to 44. Jesus sat in the temple across from where people gave their offerings. He watched how the crowd put their money into the treasury. Jesus knew some of the people were very rich. He watched the rich ones put in large amounts of money. Jesus knew they were giving what was left over after they bought everything they needed and even a lot of what they just wanted. It was not hard for the rich people to give this much money. They would not even miss it. Jesus kept watching as a woman approached the offering place. This woman was a widow. She did not have a husband with money at all, but she dropped two small coins into the offering. They were not very much, but they were all she had. Jesus called his disciples to him. He explained to them, This woman has put in more than all the others who are giving. These other people have only given what was extra, what they didn't need. This woman has given everything she owns. This is all she has to buy the things she needs. She has given the most. Such a wonderful story about what it really means to offer what you have to the Lord. Now, let us reflect and answer these questions. First, how did the Pharisees feel about their giving? Second, which giver was Jesus pleased with? And third, what and how can you give to God? Today's lesson has taught us that when we give, we worship and honor God. Let us now take the time to recite our memory verse to remind us of this story. 1 Samuel chapter 16, verse 7 For the Lord sees not as man sees. Man looks on the outward appearance, but the Lord looks on the heart. Let us recite that again. 1 Samuel chapter 16, verse 7 For the Lord sees not as man sees. Man looks on the outward appearance, but the Lord looks on the heart. God doesn't look at the amount we give, but He looks at our hearts. He knows our heart's intentions. Now that you have memorized our verse today, Let's go and have some fun making our arts and crafts for today. Let's do this! Hello everyone! For today's craft, we will be making our animal coin bank craft. So get ready with your arts and craft materials. Two pieces of bank paper, empty water or alcohol bottle, pencil, marker, scissors, crayons, tape, and glue. Now, we're ready for step 1. Time to make the base. Wrap the paper around your empty bottle, then close it with tape. Next, draw the face of the animal you like. Step 2. Time to add more 
more details. On another paper, draw four ovals of the ears and hands and make two strips of paper for the body of your animal. Color and cut them up. Step 3. Time for finishing touches. Finally, assemble the parts on your coin bank battle. And there you have it! Our animal coin bank craft. We can use this to put all our tithes and offerings for God just like what the woman did in our story. We hope you enjoyed our Sunday school today. We will see you again next week. Bye!